Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. It's Console Carrie here bringing you another episode of Nintendo's Rags to Riches Challenge. Here are the rules. Here are the classes and the end game objectives. We are on the island of folklore. Yes, we are still on the island of folklore, which makes us a farmer. Here are the exceptions to help us make those 20 million bells. Well, it is September 4th, Monday. Uh, we have taken a detour from Rags to Riches and are designing our massive waterfront floating campsite. <laughs> and it's coming along. We've been making some progress. Uh, if you didn't catch my last video, we moved pretty much everybody out of the way. <laughs> And uh, we've done a bunch of terraforming, and I've been decorating, and I'm so excited with the entrance to the campsite that I wanted to make a video today and show that to you guys. So let's head on back to the campsite. The flow I'm still working on. I got a ramp. I got. I put the bridge in, and I've got a ramp that'll come tomorrow. And then we'll need another ramp, <laughs> and then we'll have the entrance done. So kind of imagine if you came up the ramp and up here, and here is the entrance. And I absolutely love it. I found these two. Uh, I built these two uh, signs, which are a DIY. And... Uh, I found these two designs that I think go really well with the flamingos and my flowers. And I think I I need maybe something behind uh, my flowers, but it's pretty close to done. And we got our tiki torches. It's looking awesome. I ended up moving them close to the bridge because it just didn't feel connected like it was an entrance. So, and I wanted the palm trees, so it had to still be a three by three. So, yeah, I think this is looking really good. Um, I am loving it. Um, we're starting to put some tiki torches down because you know me, I love fire. Um, so, the reason I used garden is because we're going to have a rock garden back here, but also. I am abandoning my uh, swag, <laughs> uh, flex is the better word. I am abandoning my flex flowers in front of resident services. And we are going to have a floating flower garden and a floating rock garden. I am confident that we will accomplish that. So, um, yeah, and then we'll have the campsite, and I'm just loving it. So, super pretty, lots of fire, and then we, I didn't like the jog, I don't like jogs on the bridges, so I ended up making this one square bigger over here. Um, I don't plan on making it bigger on this back side, but you never know, I could, I could. Um, but probably not. So we've got, we still have pretty much the same layout, just a tiny bit bigger, a little bit better view. And then, um, so, so here's the lore. <laughs> so I'm trying, I'm close to having seven stools, wooden stools on my campsite. And I want seven, I mean, 10. <laughs> I want the, every villager to be able to go to the campsite and hang out. <laughs> so, um, we have, so we come up to the campsite, and if you want to hang out and maybe uh, just get warm by the fireplace, and this is in the wrong spot. Let's move it. There we go. So if you just want to get warm by the fireplace, maybe sing some songs, hang out. Uh, with your villager friends. There we go. Got that. Or maybe you want to roast some marshmallows. You come over here, roast some marshmallows. Maybe there's some beans that kind of look like some beans roasting on the campfire. What do you guys like to cook on the campfire? There's s'mores is pretty popular. 
Um, I like roasting marshmallows. Um, I'm not a big hot dog fan, but I do like brats. If you know what brats are, <laughs> let me know in the comments. <laughs> Is that your favorite? Um, it's just a little higher end version of a hot dog, more of a sausage. All right, so um, coming along, we come to this right side. So this is the overflow area. Maybe somebody forgot their sleeping bag. So we got a sleeping bag and a little snack and a light. Um, maybe I'll throw like a little book or something over here. Not sure. Um, and then here's a little area to sit down and take a rest while you're waiting for maybe something a little nicer like maybe a steak getting grilled or some chicken um i want to put one more log stool here and i love these log stools because they um, are pretty versatile and small and you can kind of move them around and they don't take up as much space so and then you can't really get past here that's one thing that's a problem bit of a problem i might try to fix that at some point but if you come over here you've got these three log stools and this is like you're waiting for your laundry you're waiting in line to get your laundry that's been washed yeah so i thought that was kind of a cute idea to do i made it up all by myself no inspiration <laughs> So, yeah, so this is the campsite, and um, I'm super proud of it, and I think it's really cute. I love the entrance the most, and I I think the log stakes and the, and the log stools look good with it. It's a good option. Um, I was thinking I want to try to find a path for here. Um, I could actually maybe, let's see what we've got. We might have something as an interim path. We do have some stones. Let's see what we've got. Let's see. We do have these brick. We do have this brick. Um, I was maybe thinking of these. Um, the heart stones I'm kind of reserving for... Um, for moving our rocks around. So maybe we do something like this. No, I don't like that. I don't know. We'll have to come up with one. I like these, this, that brick pattern is just kind of busy. But it'd be nice if we just had something there, huh? What about this red brick? So we're kind of going for a dark, uh, that actually looks not too bad. Got a little bit of grass sticking up. <laughs> yeah, we got a little path that goes to the campsite. In case you were wondering. Yeah, I like that. That looks good. Gives a little bit more detail. All right, so the next phase. So I'm considering this done. It's pretty much done, except for maybe right behind the flowers on the entrance and that stool. I'm considering this pretty much done. So phase two is going to be placing our rocks, or not our rocks, because we can't control that, but placing our flowers. And I'm thinking we won't really need our flowers um, as often as we will need our rocks. But I kind of like to have these front two be the pink, be a pink and a purple. I'm going to go by color because it kind of matches the entrance. So I'm thinking I will do that. And then the rock garden will start on the side. So one, two, three. And then there's three on the other side. So this will be one of our flower gardens so we just have to figure out which colors <laughs> so let's go ahead and go grab some flowers and figure out how to get down from here the flow is all messed up because we're not quite done with our ramps So we're just going to come over here and we'll dig up 
these orange flowers and then we'll meet you back at the campsite. All right, we're back at the campsite. We don't have as many hybrid as I would like, <laughs> but we're working on it. So we could put all our pinks over here. We can always change the order later. And I'm not 100% sure about this tiki torch. I'm thinking maybe when I get a lantern DIY, I'll do that. Hmm, I thought I had all the pink. Who's missing? And maybe it's not necessarily going to fill it up every time, but... You know who's missing is the pansies. So we're not quite there yet with the pink, but. And I'm thinking I might still keep our swag area, our flex area, because part of the reason why I'm wanting to keep the flowers is so I can pick them <laughs> when I have a DIY. So I'm thinking pink and purple, and I think I only have this one purple. I think so. All right, so we'll do pink and purple. And then these will be the rock gardens. And then maybe we we'll do blue here. You can always move them around. <clears throat> We're always subject to change our mind, right? We could do black here. Oops. Black rose, black lily, black tulip. Huh. So still working on that. And then... Other side. Okay, so this one is the fourth and will be orange. Yeah, here's the orange pansy. I don't think we have a pink pansy yet. Oh, we got a double here. We don't need that. I guess we could until we get more the rest of the oranges, the rest of the colors. We could just fill it up. And then do I have a tiki torch? We come out of oh no, I have one. Here's one. We need to make some more tiki torches. Yeah, that's looking all right, huh? What do you guys think? Can't wait to get this ramp in. And we don't have much for purple. All right. So we got our perp our flowers in. And I think Except for a little bit of terraforming, I kind of tore this up over here, and I'm still figuring out how to fit this. And I think my next step, after I get my second ramp in, which will be right here, I'm going to remove this bridge and figure out how to blend these, this corner together. I had it blended, and then... And then I decided I wanted all the flowers up here, and so then I had to change it. I'm also thinking about the tail. Do I have anything to give him? Not really. I'm also thinking the tailor is huge, <laughs> and I don't really need this much room. I'm also not crazy about nooks being clear over here, and then the kitchen and my house on the other side. 
So I'm thinking about reducing the yard, maybe moving Able Sisters over here, and then maybe putting my house here. But I'm not, but I also am not happy about this frontage area. So, um, and I'm also considering, I've got a lot of things in the works. I'm also considering, um, uh, Moving this pumpkin farm out, and maybe I would put my house back there. I'm not sure. What do you guys think about those ideas? Any of them excite you? <laughs> but yeah, I'm kind of wondering if I want to get rid of this swag or not, because picking just one flower <laughs> every couple of days isn't much. So I may still keep this. And we have a ways to go with our flowers. We do, we do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I picked everything we have grown. Yeah, okay, so just to be clear, I have not abandoned Craig's to Riches. I am on a detour. <laughs> but I am definitely cooking all the things. In fact, today is tomato day. We'll be cooking some tomatoes. And we'll shake these apples down. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not abandoning. I am distracted. <laughs> and wanting to entertain you guys. <laughs> so, do you guys want to see anything else? Is there anything else? To oh, yeah. So we had wishing stars uh, last night, and we wished a whole bunch. And so let's pick up all these wishing stars. Got yellow. Oh, here's a bottle, too. Come back and get that. Got, we got a bunch of stars. Maybe we should make a wand. I don't think I've ever done that. This new DIY recipe was inspired by a scene in a novel I'm reading right now and really enjoying. I wanted to get my idea out into the world, so I put it in this bottle. I'd love for you to try it out. And it's from Pico. Pico's pretty popular. Um, I wouldn't say she's one of my favorites, but I wouldn't turn her down either. Oh, and it's Peach Surprise. Do I know it? No, I don't. I am kind of itching to catch some sharks. Make some serious money. I don't know why I went in here. <laughs> I got some miles to collect. Alright, so Peach Surprise Box. That's what that looks like. Let's run through our DIYs. Is there anything new? I haven't shared with you guys. Um, oh, we have. We've gotten so, so, so. It's September. I don't know if I mentioned, but we can shake the trees and get pine cones and acorns now. If any, I'm in September. If anyone out there needs pine cones and acorns, let me know. We could do a little. Uh, we could do a little tree shaking party, a little uh, watering party, water train. I always use that. Let me know. But these are the four I have. I'm not sure how many there are. Um, as far as anything else goes, I need to get back to doing my island tours so I can get some materials. Um, See, here's one of the DIYs where I need to be able to pick flowers. So I'm just trying to find, have this massive campsite is allowing me to have a cute way of having a central space to collect those things. And I'm super excited about how it's turning out. I have tried it before and not been happy with it. And, um, but this one is pretty cool. I wonder if that would fit on the entry. I might try that. 
And I'm not seeing anything spectacular that has come in. Oh, this is, I was thinking about doing this for the campsite. I might do that. We'll have to work on that. Pick up this flower. But yeah, I'm going to be doing some cooking later today. Uh, off screen. Make some money. We're at 9.5 million bells. We are almost at the 50% mark. We probably today will hit the 50% mark for sure. Oh, here's another star. That's pretty exciting. Oh, a white one. So I'm getting different colors, which is nice. Let's see. But yeah, I'm definitely getting the bug to fish. I haven't done any fishing. We need to go down the list and figure out what we need for September. We got a lot of stars. That's awesome. Maybe we can do some DIYs. We still haven't really done much with the beaches. I, um... I don't really have a solid plan for them, but I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm thinking. Oh, so I don't remember getting a purple one before. Have you guys gotten purple? Well, that's cool. It's cool to get purple. Is it purple or blue? I'm not sure. Um, I still need to set up the kitchen over here. Probably take these trees out. Oh, and Golovar is here. Do you guys want to watch me go through the pain that is Golovar? <laughs> He's kind of hiding in the trees. I am continuing to get my coffee. Cannot live without that. Oh, there's another purple mum. These are unknowns. <laughs> All right, let's do uh, Gullivar. Hey, Gullivar. Last time I saw your buddy, Gullivar, this is Gulliver. When I saw Gullivar, he gave me this super cool uh, pi uh, pirate outfit. Come on, wake up, wakey, wakey, wakey. It's time to wake up. Wakey, wakey. Oh, there's a star fragment right there, too. Yeah, I hope you don't make me go in the ocean. I don't even have my suit on. And I don't want to mess up my hair. Come on. Yep, it's broken. Okay, he needs parts, so that'll mean sand. That's good. Last time I had to dive in the ocean. Almost drowned, choking on water. Yep, five parts. All right, all right, I'll get them, I'll get them, don't worry. We got some new bugs floating around, too. Do we have a shovel on us? We do. We do, we do. And I got a bunch of stuff. I got the kitchen. Wow, that's a big fish. I need to get on the fish. <laughs> well, our campsite's almost there. I just, uh, it pretty much is. Um, at this point, we're going to need to wait. I think we are. Well, except for some terraforming, which I'll do off screen. I'll show you when I'm done, all done with the terraforming. Maybe next video I should be done. But we, uh, oh, there's one. Um, we're pretty much done decorating the campsite. I'm really happy with it. I love the colors. It feels very tropical. Um, the only thing, uh, besides the terraforming will be just waiting for us to get those hybrids. I haven't been growing very well. I, maybe I should use a different pattern. I'm not sure. I'm still thinking on that, but, uh, would his parts be clear over here? I mean, wow, I guess it could have, <laughs> I dug up an 
Oink, oid. <laughs> we need to bury you because uh, we bury all of our gyroids on this island. All right, did it disappear? I know I saw one over here. Oh, yep, there's number two. There is part, here's another purple. Oh, we got another clam, and we should maybe start making some fish bait. When CJ comes, we want to be ready. Stuff to sell. I think that's number three. Is that number three? Yeah. Okay, we need two more, two more. Two more, two more. Come on, Beachy. Come on, Beach. Give it up. We're just looking for a bubble. All right. Come on. We want to get this task done. I think I could probably pick those watering cans up now. I got a ton of DIYs. I need to just get rid of them, I guess. Nobody seems interested in them. Oh, there's number four. They are getting to be older ones that people probably already have. Oops. I think I need to be over here. There's number five. Number five, number five, communicator part. Let's go find Gulliver. <laughs> Not Gulliver, but Gulliver. Was that an original design in Animal Crossing or did they add that after? We complained about not having enough to do. Hello, Gulliver. I got him right here. You know it. I'm your buddy. I got your back. <laughs> There's the spin. Send a message to your crew. Let them know you're all right. Yeah, you better change. My flippers better fall off. It better be that good. What do I want from him? I want the golden shovel. That's what I want. I mean, don't need it. I have my three golden tools, but it would be cool to have. All right. What did we get for star fragments? So a large star fragment. These are Virgo fragments. Star fragment, star fragment. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Um, what I want to do now is figure out how to get up to the coffee shop. We can have a cup of coffee together. And then we'll call that a, a day. We've done a little bit of this and that. Getting this campsite done. Don't wake up, Blathy. We don't want to wake him up. Let's sneak up here. Who want to wake up the old coot? <laughs> oh, bad joke. <clears throat> hey Brewster I would care for some coffee thank you for asking will you please pour it out of your psycho <laughs> what is that thing called anyway Bunsen burner is that what it is I think that's what they call it I brewed this cup especially for you. Drink up. Coo. I'll do just that. 
Brewster, buddy old pal of mine. I'm going to keep drinking coffee till you give me a special gift. Oh, so hot. It burned my tongue. Oh, almost burned my tongue. But that's how hot I like it. I do like my coffee hot. I do. I do, I do. You are quite welcome. Thanks for taking my money. Well, no reward today. Maybe tomorrow. We'll just sneak on past the old goop. Okay, we made it. <laughs> All right, well, what else can we do together? What's going on? I think, where is this video at? We're at about 30 minutes. That's a good amount. That's what my videos normally are. Mm. It's going to take me a couple of days to iron this out. And uh, then we'll do maybe a tour. And then I'm thinking maybe do some fishing together. You guys got any ideas what you want to see? You're always welcome to put it in the comments. Now we got our wheat growing. Yeah, today is tomato day. I don't think you want to sit here and watch me make tomato juice. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for hanging out. I hope you are loving the campsite as much as I am. <laughs> Dang, that's a massive area. <laughs> um, like, subscribe, hit that bell so you can see the next version of the campsite. And who knows what I'll do next. Have a great day.